Ladies and gentlemen, the debate about science, technology, and society has been ongoing for many years. While science and technology have brought immense benefits to our lives, there are also concerns about their impact on society. The key is to find a balance between progress and the well-being of individuals and society as a whole. Let us continue this important discussion and work towards a future where science and technology serve humanity in the best possible way. That I'm at an all time. Judges, evaluators, debaters, ladies and gentlemen, good day. I am Ruby Ann Jacob, your program director and master of ceremonies for this fascinating debate. Welcome to STS Debate 2023, featuring the second year Jeremiah students of SESI SA. To formally launch this momentous and joyous event, let me call on Ms. Cuerpo to lead us in an opening prayer. Mr. Ganya will next give the presentation on venue layout design. Let us pray, let us put ourselves in the presence of God. Heavenly Father, you are the King of kings and you are the Lord of lords. We thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for your unconditional love. Thank you for your mercy upon us. This day, we acknowledge your holy presence to guide us because we already know without you, our life is meaningless. Bless our teacher, Duke Lagrada, together with my classmates. You may shower your blessings to us. You may continue to be love of our path for us to have a salvation. You may keep ourselves, our family from demons. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Good afternoon everyone. This is uh, Gerald Mark E. Gania and I will present to you the architectural design for the science, technology, and society debate uh, for 2023. The objectives are design a good layout to make sure that work, materials, and information flow smoothly. Describe the impact of a good layout and structure on a debate and prefer, prepare the final structure of the presentation and lay out the venue of the debate. The design is quite simple but realistic with a background of blue curtains, three podiums uh, in front, one in the middle, and two on both sides. The affirmative team is on the right and the opposing team is on the left. What a wonderful prayer and productive presentation on venue layout planning! Before moving on with the program, let's listen to Rowellyn Dan's opening remarks and an opening speech from Mr. Harnell Gloria. Welcome everyone! The topic of whether there should be a limit to technological advancement is a complex and highly debated issue. On one hand, some argue that technology can progress, should be unlimited, and that is necessary for the advancement of society. On the other hand, there are concerns about potential negative impacts of unchecked technological advancement, such as job displacement and the ethical implications of certain technologies. It's a fascinating and thought-provoking topic, and I look forward to hearing your opinions and engaging in a lively debate. Let's get started! Good day everyone, I'm Harnell Wayne Gloria. At this time of our debate, I'm hoping that everyone will be encouraged to share the excitement of giving each other's perspective and ideas on the topic of should there be a limit to technological advancements. As we listen to them, may we develop our understanding, observation, and analysis and considering each other's opinions I hope that throughout this discussion, may we have thoughtful, courteous exchanges. I appreciate your presence today, and I'm looking forward to a robust and insightful discussion. Thank you, gentlemen. We are now getting close to the most interesting section of this program. Let me call on Mr. Rolly Lindaan to discuss the debate's mechanics on Mr. Masayo to introduce the panel of judges. Ms. Velasco to present the resolution for the affirmative team. And on Ms. Vistar to present the resolution for the opposing. Mechanics of the debate. Conducting debate. A debate is a discussion of structure differences of opinion over a problem or a solution. There are guidelines. There are two groups. 
One is an affirmative team that supports the resolution, and the other is an opposing team that opposes the resolution. The speakers for the opposing and affirmative groups are as follows, one concluding speakers, eight constructive speakers, eight rebuttal speakers, and one opening speaker with a limit of 1 minute and 20 seconds. The first constructive speaker will get one minute to address the topic at hand while the rebuttal speaker will have 50 seconds. The sequence continues until the last opposing team's distinct fields and affirmative team's rebuttals. The concluding speech will include the both affirmative and opposing team. As the arguments progresses, the judges should be present and taking notes. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure to introduce our board of judges for this event. Our judge number one, he is graduated in Yagi Method Children's Academy and currently working in teleperformance as call center agent. And at the same time, taking a Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in Values Education. Please help me welcome Mr. Jude Michael Masaglang. Our judge number two, he finished his senior high school degree in Southern Philippine Baptist Theological Seminary Incorporated. Also a musical instrumentalist in their church in Kawa Kawa Barangay Mental, Catalunan, Pequeño. Now taking a Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in Values Education with Christian Education in Christian Colleges of Southeast Asia. Please help me welcome Mr. Ruel Faith Lindaan. Our judge number three, he finished his senior high school in Crossing Bayabas National High School and a former Supreme Sudan government president and a youth leader in their church. He also a freelance dance choreographer and a rescue volunteer in their barangay. Now he is taking a Bachelor of Secondary Education in Christian Colleges of Southeast Asia. Yours truly, Mr. Rovar S. Masayao. Our fourth judges, she graduated in Nieves Villarica National High School currently studying in Christian Colleges of Southeast Asia, taking a Bachelor of Secondary Education major in English. Please help me welcome Ms. Lotesike Margate. Our judge number five, she graduated in Mental Comprehensive Senior High School from Bago Oshero, Mental Davao City, secondary college in Christian Colleges of Southeast Asia, taking a course of Bachelor of Secondary Education major in English. Please help me welcome Ms. Casey Yakun. Our sixth judge, she graduated in Emilio Ramos National High School, also a youth officer in church and handling a children's ministry. Now, working in a hotel as front desk and taking a Bachelor of Secondary Education major in English in Christian Colleges of Southeast Asia. Please help me welcome Miss Switchell Marquez. And our seventh judge, she graduated a degree of Bachelor of Science and Chemical Engineering from the University of Mindanao. She is a former Assistant Dean of College at Christian Colleges of Southeast Asia and currently a full-time professor and rendered her life in teaching for almost five decades. Please help me welcome Ma'am Leo de Veda Lagrada. A round of applause, please. These are the final resolution titles from Affirmative Team with the names of all the constructive speakers. First, Technological Risk from Indiscriminate Use by Pancho Loizel. Second, The Advantages and Benefits of Having Limitations in Technological Advancement by Mingito Dasuri. Third, The Dangers of Unrestrained Technological Advancement Why We Need Limits for a Sustainable Future by Obiel Debbie Princess. Fourth, The Impact of Social Media on Academic Performance Why Limiting Technological Advancement is Necessary by Ortiz Powell. Jade. Fifth, The Dark Side of Progress, Why We Need Limits on Technological Advancement by Padilio April Joy. Sixth, The Economic Limits of Technological Advancement by Lario Kido Jr. Seventh, The Aid of Limiting Technological Advancement for the Benefits of Human Growth by Rebelia Sajili. Eight, Imposing Limitations on the Advancement to Lessen Technological Dependency by Kilab Ria. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the final resolution of opposing team and complete name of constructive speaker. First, constructive speaker, resolution number one, limitless advancement, why we should continue to push through technological progress by barring Rodney Jane. Second, constructive speaker, resolution number two, limitless human ingenuity drives limitless technological progress by Basan Sarami. Third, constructive speaker, resolution number three, limiting technological advances, stifles new frontier by Salmasan Blossom. 
Fourth constructive speaker resolution number four, limitless technological progress in response to ubiquitous 21st century demands by Kolihara Erman. Fifth constructive speaker resolution number five, the aid of continuous technological advancement toward economic progress, a technical standpoint by Bendigo Mylin. Six constructive speaker resolution number six, continuous innovation in technology aids more efficient food production by Cantiveros, Cheryl May. Seventh constructive speaker resolution number seven, continuous technological advancement is the key to productive business by Caserbo Honeyfield. And the last constructive speaker resolution number eight, the necessity of continued technological advancement, limitless progress by Katodan Annabella. Thank you. The opening and closing speaker from both the affirmative and opposing team will be given one minute to give their statement and each constructive speaker from both team will be given one minute to state their claims and 50 seconds for the rebuttal speaker of both teams. Your time start now. A pleasant day to everyone. The affirmative team will not convince you but tell you the truth and facts about why there should be a limit in advancing technology. The fact cannot be denied that technology has been part of human life and technological advancements made people's life easier. However, limitation and technological advancement is a must. Why? Consider the dependency in AI or artificial intelligence, a computer program that thinks for itself and learns independently that many depend on makes humans indolent. Views are being less and less since we depend on it, as well as in environment, resource depletion, and adverse psychological impact. Everything has a limitation. Vishnu Padapan states, technology has been a powerful driver of human progress, but it could be also be the force that destroys humanity. This is not about supporting nor you have a point. Limitation is requisite, especially in advancing technology. A pleasant day to everyone. The idea of limitless technological advancements presents an exciting feature where human potential is fully realized through the development of groundbreaking technologies that enhance our lives in unimaginable ways. As technologies are quickly developing, automation, via targeting, artificial intelligence, and other information technology developments in particular provide a way for further technological evolution that can benefit our businesses, production, and will improve our economy. If technology development is restricted, our economy may collapse and numerous fields of research may cease to exist. It may create problems in the present times as we are limiting our creations to technologies that do aid us for our everyday lives and may create a solution to our problem in the current times. A world where unending technical advancements can make everyone's life more convenient, secure, and comfortable. Now the opposition team is ready to demonstrate the strength and value of technological advancement if it is unrestricted. Technological advancement is the generation or discovery of knowledge that advances the understanding of science or technology. Technological research and innovation is advancing our society at an incredibly rapid pace. However, while it holds many benefits, it also raises social and ethical question the more our society depends on it. To simplify this statement, it means that in some forms of technology, they may have made a positive changes in the world. Yet there's still an evidence for the negative effects of technology and it it's overuse as well. Knowing the limitations in regards of technological advancement, we can avoid some negative impacts on our society to human growth. So for example, too much technology leads a negative impacts in health of humans. According to the psychology research, overuse of social media and mobile devices have been linked to eye strain, difficulty focusing on other tasks, and worst is depression. Therefore, there should be a limit to technological advancement because indiscriminate using of technology causes a lot of risk because knowing the limitations of technology is important because it allows us to better understand how to use it effectively and efficiently. It also helps us to identify potential risk and weaknesses and avoid making costly mistakes. Technological risk from indiscriminate use. If you look at the other side of technology, we cannot determine its limitation to advance our lives. Due to the advancement of technology, it provides a lot of opportunities that fit us in doing our daily tasks. Because of technology, we can know everything, and through many innovation, it gives everyone more access. 
We can't deny the fact that technology helped us in our daily communication, transportation, healthcare, and many other fields that have transformed our society. Technology doesn't cost us to have the rest if we can manage it because we can control its impact on our lives. It is very important to know that technology doesn't cost you to have depression, anxiety, stress, or any other health condition. It is you who make the decision if you are going to abuse technology. Technology develops and technology exists in everyday life. We should continue to push through technological progress because technological advancements have both improved the quality of our life. Technology will continue to have a stronger influence over society and will eventually become an inseparable part of it. We all know that technologies have a stupendous impact to help us humans. We made technologies to help us in our daily lives like phones, computers, and etc. Also, to be globally competitive, we use technologies to enhance the productivity of our businesses. That is why we should continue to push it. So my point here is that it is great to create technologies that could help us, but there is no such thing as manpower. I strongly disagree with that statement. Yes, technological advancement had made our life easy and it has stupendous impact to all humans, but it should have a limit. Technologies such as robots are by inputting data that has the same behavior, thinking, and human-like things, but their functions are limited that can cause destruction. Some robots dysfunction that can lead to kill people. Some can cause trouble that destroy our environment and things that we do. And also, we should know that technology has brought us many illness effects like bad eyesight and many more. So we should limit ourselves from technological advice. The ability to save time, money, and the responsibility of performing all the labor's tasks are just a few benefits of modern technology. The use of technology helps multiply productivity. Human effort and working energy are limited. However, since machinery is capable of performing at greater capacities, manufacturing can be increased many times around. Additionally, it increases the usefulness of products and services and contributes to value creation. It benefits us in several ways and makes any task easier. One benefit of technology development is more creative and effective marketing and promotion. Technology boosts productivity and efficiency while saving a significant amount of time. We are able to finish huge tasks faster. With the push of a button, communication is now possible. With the use of technology, you can accomplish a lot of things with a single click, like make calls, send emails, faxes, and online orders. With the aid of technology, we now have improved means of communication. Also, the capacity to create fresh and original ideas. Technological advancement is advancing our society at an incredibly rapid pace. Our society is currently going in the direction of innovation and creativity. We are learning more and more each day. With limitation, we won't be able to continue this process. We would be stuck with what we already have rather than figure out new methods to deal with issues. Creating limitation would assume that we know everything and can plan for everything, but we can't. So there should be no limit to technological advancement as it is already part of our lives and therefore inevitable. Innovation will continue as day by day there are many issues that need to be addressed and we all know technological advancement. My stand on my topic, Limitless Human Ingenuity Drives Limitless Technological Progress. As a member of a position, there is no limit of technology because it will bring much helpful effects in the society. Although it might bring social and ethical dilemmas, it would still help us to be a clever, creative, and intelligent, which the word ingenuity defines us. According to Daniel Burroughs, the best example of this is a Google supercomputer using its advanced all software which was able to win a stunning victory in a man versus machine face off against go grandmaster one of the game's all times champions with this i will say that limitless technological progress will bring much positive and helpful effects to the people in the society your point was that limitless human and gentility drives limitless technological progress. But do you know that limitless of technological progress has negative effects on the society? 
limitless of technological advancements can lead to negative consequences such as social inequalities and the displacement of certain jobs. Limiting technological progress promotes equity, which can benefit society as a whole. We should remember that limiting technological advancements ensure that progress is sustainable for everyone without limitations. Technological progress may be reckless, dangerous, and unsustainable. Therefore, it is not accurate to claim that limitless human ingenuity will necessarily lead to limitless technological progress. There is no denying that technological advancement have transformed our lives. From communication to transportation, healthcare to entertainment, technology has made our lives more comfortable and convenient. However, this advancement comes with a cost, a cost that we often overlook. One of the biggest dangers of unrestrained technological advancement is the impact on the environment. From carbon emissions to e-waste, technology is responsible for a significant portion of our planet's pollution. If we continue to prioritize technological advancement over environmental sustainability, we will leave future generations with a planet that is not habitable. Therefore, we need limits on technological advancement to ensure that we create a sustainable future for ourselves and future generations. While technological advancement have the potential to solve some of the world's most pressing problems, they also pose significant dangers if left unchecked. As what you have said that the advancement of technology makes our lives easier and make us comfortable, so the word limit is not applicable to this. Limitations is not for advancement of technology, and we cannot deny the fact that the more advancement of technology, the more we become comfortable and the more successful our world is. There should no limitation for this because limitations for advancement of technology means also limitations for better education, transportation, agriculture, and even health care. If you are afraid of the danger brought by this, you should also think the safety nest that the technological advancement gives to us. So therefore, we should not limit the technological advancement to ensure the best future for ourselves and for the future generations. That's all. We live in a world where technology is rapidly advancing and innovation is key to progress. Limiting technological advances can stifle or prevent new frontiers, hindering the potential for growth and development. It will prevent the creation of new products and limit the growth of new industries. It means that we will be stuck with the current technology, causing us to miss out on the incredible benefits that new technology can bring. According to a study by the World Economic Forum in 2000, technology has been responsible for 60% of economic growth over the last 25 years. Limiting its advances will hinder the economic growth as it will reduce the potential for new ideas and innovations. Furthermore, technological advances can solve our world's most pressing issues. For example, medical advancements are saving millions of lives and new technology can provide solutions to problems such as climate change, poverty, and hunger. Therefore, there should be no limit to technological advancements. We must ensure that new frontiers can be explored and realized. Humanity needs a future where technology is limitless and progress is boundless. Yes, limiting technological advances is to give us new frontiers, but we should look also that new technology would not be missing out. It's just we need to control or we should have limitations, because they may also contribute to more serious health conditions, such as depression. You said that humanity needs a future where technology is limitless. Yes, we need a technology, but it doesn't mean we should not limit by using it. Limiting technological advancements have both improved the quality of life substantially and also it is brought about many ill effects too. Technology will continue to have a stronger influence over society and it will eventually become an inspirable part of it as it is now. The use of advanced technologies in all classrooms both has positive and negative attributes. Although the positive effects outnumber the negative ones, it is still important that the negatives are not overlooked because they can be detrimental. According to research, the ease of access to information on social media has resulted in an overuse of technology in the classroom, which has a negative effect on the learning process. Apart from encouraging plagiarism and cheating in a classroom setting, technological advancement has negatively affected analytical and critical thinking skills. This is not a mere speculation. 
studies have shown that increased engagement in advanced technologies such as games and social media result in poorer academic performance. That's why limiting technological advancement is necessary, especially in the education sector. I respect your assumption and see your point, but I beg to disagree. Why should we put a limit on technological advancement when nobody can escape the absolute necessity of technology, especially in a classroom setting? We all know that technology provides instant access to information and helps simplify the learning process by making concepts easier to understand. In suit, the use of technology does not restrain students' capacity to think on their own. It rather provides help and access to numerous online resources that support independent learning and research. Research. To support my claim, research from teachers' perception of barriers to the use of digital technology cited that digital technologies are currently one of the most used resources among students for developing their personalized learning environment. I believe that there should be no limit to advancements in technology. As we move towards modernity, so as the demand to innovate and develop more tools and equipment becomes increasingly necessary, especially in the quest of 21st century, because it made our lives easier, faster, and better, according to Carter in 2017. And we might think that indeed it's unimaginable to live without any of their presence in today's world, since they become an important part of our lives. This underlines the necessity of continuous technological progress in response to our never-ending demands. From a technical standpoint, Point, there is no reason why we can continue to make advancements. According to economics discussion in 2018, there are always new innovations, new efficiencies, and new ways of solving problems that can be discovered that will help us advance and meet the demands of modernity. Thereby, I stand that technological advancements should have no limit because if there would, we won't be able to continue this process and strive towards progress. That would be all. I disagree. I believe technical development should be constrained. You cannot claim that if there's a limit, we won't be able to continue inventing to meet our needs, creating tools, machines, and equipment, and pursuing progress. In fact, it will continue and be beneficial to all of us. Limitations serve as a reminder of what might happen if we don't set that. For instance, if we become more dependent on technology, more people will lose their jobs to machines that can do the work instead. We will also experience environmental problems, health problems, and a decrease in human creativity. So that's why I believe technical progress should be constrained. That's all, and I thank you. Technological advancement have transformed our lives, but they also have a dark side. While technology has increased productivity and connectivity, it has led to environmental hazard, job displacement, and social isolation and ethical concern. For instance, the rise of electronic devices has resulted in the production of electronic waste, posing a significant threat to our environment. Additionally, automation has replaced human workers in certain industries, leading to job losses and social inequality. Social media platforms, on the other hand, have been linked to addiction and mental health problems. Therefore, it is imperative that we set limits on technological advancement to mitigate their negative consequences. To ensure that technology benefits society, we must regulate its use, invest in sustainable technology, and promote job retraining programs. By doing so, we can strike a balance between technological advancement and their impact on the environment, society, and the individual's privacy. We must ensure that technology is used ethically and responsibly to safeguard the well-being of all. While it is true that technology has led to some negative consequences such as environmental hazards and job displacement, these issues can be addressed through innovation and adaptation. Furthermore, social isolation and addiction linked to social media platforms can be addressed through education and responsible usage rather than limiting technological development. Therefore, the benefits of technological advancement far outweigh the negative consequences and attempts to limit technology would hinder human progress and innovation. Technology developed and unceasingly continued to evolve since the start of history of mankind. In the 2000s, technology has transformed into a structure containing large amount of information. In the past 100 years, technological advances increased with incredible speed as compared to the previous time. Technology involves application of science, especially for industrial or commercial purposes and the use of scientific method and material in order to achieve a commercial or industrial purpose and making 
making innovations to the production machines, production methods, and products in order to increase the production volume of efficiency, all resulting in competition advantages and profit increases. Therefore, technological transformations play a key role in the economic growth before accurate or wrongful use technological advances may make considerable positive or negative impacts to a specific firm, sector, or nations. So its transfer from one firm to another does not require too much effort and cost and similarly no problems arise in its transfer from one nation to another. Ladies and gentlemen, team judges and audience, while I acknowledge that technology has played a significant role in the economic progress, I strongly believe that we need to be cautious and limit the pace and scope of technological advancements. Firstly, continuous technological advancements can have negative consequences on the environment. As we develop new technologies, we are also creating new sources of pollution and waste contributing to climate change and other environmental problems. Secondly, uncontrolled technological advancements can have adverse effects on society. While technology has brought about many benefits, it has also led to job losses and income inequality. Therefore, we need to limit the pace and scope of technological progress and ensure that we are developing technologies that are sustainable and socially responsible. Let us not blindly pursue progress at the expense of our environment and society. Thank you. Everything that exists has its own limits and boundaries that may be advantageous in a certain area such as economics. It's possible that certain things are within the reach of technology but are so expensive that they are completely impractical. For example, many of the most modern medicines that we have, from gene therapies, therapies to stem cells treatment to complex drugs, are astronomically expensive to research and produce. It costs a lot of money and high technology that may not be possible to produce in our times or in an economical level of our country. It is therefore possible that there are other drugs that would work, but simply aren't economically possible. Technology is a positive thing. In fact, the constant advancement in technology means that the execution of duties is becoming easier. Notably, improvements in the use of technology in our economy, especially in the medical field, have enabled doctors to save more lives. Yes, we can say that some of modern medicines are too much expensive to the point some country cannot afford to have this kind of medicine. But it doesn't mean we should limit technological advancement because it is an important tool, especially in our different economies, because technological progress allows for the more efficient production of more and better goods and services, which is what prosperity depends full potential in boosting productivity and economic growth. Continuous technological innovation has revolutionized the food industry, allowing for large-scale food production. However, these technologies have some drawbacks that should be considered. One of the most significant disadvantages is particularly in food processing is that it can remove many nutrients found in the fresh foods. Furthermore, processed foods frequently contain chemicals and preservatives that are harmful to our health. So another downside of the technological advancement is that it can lead to environmental issues, factory farming waste. For example, it can pollute water supplies and emit green greenhouse gases. Crude processing is also necessitated a significant amount of energy in water, putting a strain on available resources. In recent years, the role of technology in the food business has increased, and in terms of the result on food, it offers more benefits than drawbacks. For instance, technology improves the productivity and efficiency of the entire food production process. From planting and harvesting through manufacturing and packaging, it makes it easier to track food safety and quality, identify contaminated items, and conduct quality control. Businesses can now embrace sustainable practices thanks to technology, such as employing solar energy or purchasing energy-efficient machinery, whereas technology may have significant effects it can also have unfavorable effects so it is important to understand its limitations so reducing technological use may benefit not only the food business but also our society as a whole I believe that limiting technological advancements can be a positive step forward for human growth. We have to ensure that we are using technology to enhance our lives rather than allowing it to control us.
For example, we can limit the amount of time we spend on social media and other digital platforms and instead focus on building real and meaningful relationship with others. So we can also um, encourage the development of technology that is... Access and technology has a huge impact and in influence to the human race. This allows them for faster computation and easy to communicate to the other individuals wherever in the world. But I am not talking about the lower hierarchy. What I'm concerned is the elites, the ultra-rich kind of the businessmen that almost control the economy and the minds of the people. That is very dangerous because if those businessmen will be, will be able to access super advanced technology, it can be used in the evil purposes like manipulating and taking advantage to the customers without justice. That's why I truly believe that there should be a limit in technological advancement, especially in the growth of human. Technology is fueled globally. The advancement of technology has resulted in both innovation and significant changes that have made life easier for people. As technological advancement progress, they make things easier and more convenient for businesses all over the world, and they will undoubtedly expand the scope of businesses because they make things more comfortable and convenient. When transforming the business with a digital solution, it will broaden the scope and improve its performance. Humans are able to create market space in order to reach out to customers, and this can result in better decision making, quicker project completion, and better customer service. Imagining what life would be like without technology. It makes the IT education gap challenging to understand, and to be honest, life would be miserable without advanced technology. I disagree with your statement. We should put limit on technological advancement because technology can be a destruction to the growth of the business. Social media platforms such as Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube are very addictive and can distract the employees, waste their time, and make them less productive. Many businesses depend mostly on the internet for their work and require a stable internet connection. They won't be able to grow their minds with daily activities as they are stuck with the use of computers and software to complete their daily routine. Employees will not get a challenge in their work and their talent will not grow. This overdependence on the internet and technology will then be detrimental. This is why your employees should know how to go about their daily work without an internet connection. Imposing limitation and advancement means placing restriction or regulation on the development, use or implementation of certain technologies in order to reduce our reliance on them. This can include limiting the use of certain technologies in certain contexts or industries, banning certain technologies altogether, or investing in alternative technologies that are more sustainable and more reliable and less harmful to the environment. The goal of imposing limitation and advancement is to strike a balance between the benefits of technology and the potential negative consequences, and to ensure that technology is used in a way that benefits society as a whole. Imposing limitations on advancement to lessen the technology deficiency in using technologies, it is important that we make our restrictions or regulations and balance between the benefits of technology and the potential negative consequences. But remember that how can we improve in industry, education, transportation, and many more if a limit are used of technology. Also, into this generation, people are dependent on technology. How come that we have to limit on using some technology for us to do work in hassle and time free? Hence, technology produced to help us in our day by day living. Technology has witnessed impressive evolution in the past few decades, which has in turn transformed our lives and helped us evolve with it. Technology has contributed more than anything to help mankind live a life of luxury and convenience. It is also because of technology that we know our world and outer space better. Every field owes its advancements to technology and this clearly indicates the importance of technology in every aspect of our lives has no limitations. Have in the upcoming sections, we elaborate on the importance, benefits, and impact of technology.
There is continuous work in the progress in the area of technology as it offers significant benefits and these benefits have a huge impact on our day-to-day -day lives. While technological advancements have brought many benefits including improved efficiency and convenience, we must also consider their negative impacts. The constant drive for technological progression often leads to the exploitation of natural resources and exacerbation of inequality. Furthermore, the rapid pace of technological change can lead to job displacement and other socio-economic challenges. Therefore, rather than pursuing limitless technological progress, we should prioritize sustainable and equitable development. This requires balancing the benefits of new technologies with their potential cost and working towards more inclusive and ethical innovation. Ultimately, our goal should not be limitless progression but rather using technology as a tool to improve human well-being and protect our planet. Ladies and gentlemen, today our team has presented two compelling arguments in support of the notion that there should be a limit of technological advancement. We have highlighted the potential risks and negative consequences associated with unchecked technological development, such as the impact on mental health and ethical concerns surrounding artificial intelligence. However, we also recognize the benefits of technolo technology and the positive changes it brought to various areas of society. As a society, we must strike a balance between progress and restraint by setting limits on technological advancement. We must take a responsible and sustainable approach to technological to ensure that it serves the needs of society without causing harm. This can be achieved through various approaches such as implementing regulations and guidelines and encouraging public debate and discussion around the implication of new technologies. So, in my conclusion, we urge you to consider the potential risks and negative consequences associated with unchecked technological development and support the notion that there should be a limit to technological advancement. By doing so, we ensure that technology serves the needs of society in a responsible and sustainable way. Thank you. Technology has changed the way people live their everyday lives. Its presence is almost everyday you do from how to communicate to how you perform your day-to-day -day tasks. That's why there should be no limit in technology. The advancement of new technology has been taking place since the beginning of human history. From the invention of items like the spear and knives, made of the rocks and sticks, to add in the capturing and the killing of animals for foods. To items like the first printing press and the computer. Also, technology has been exceptionally fast in the 20th and 21st century, made our life easier, faster, and better with electronic technology. And machine being produced and improved all the time. It was very likely that along with positive aspect of this new advancement. Ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant day to all of us. Just recently, we witnessed the stand of our debaters with regards to the topic of technological advancement. Is it to be limited or not? And with this, I would like to commend both teams for their vigorous effort in defending their notions of the said issues. Certainly, nowadays, technology plays an integral part of our lives. It will continue to advance and innovate to meet the demands of the world particularly in different industries, sectors, nations, and even us as individuals. The empirical evidence for this can be seen in our surroundings and what we experience in our daily lives. So its goal is to give us a quality life, which is why we are driven by the idea that technology should be limitless. However, with the drastic change in technology, which gives a lot of benefits, we cannot deny the fact that it's also having a negative impact in different areas. Technology has been question as it brings environmental, social, ethical, physical, political, economical, and psychological problems. Hence, it's also our concern to elevate these consequences. In summary, we cannot say that technology itself should be limited or boundless. The technology is the result of our creativity and intelligence. We must know where, when, and how we use it. Ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor to be here in front of you. The wait is over. The results are already in my hands. But first, I would like to congratulate both teams for their excellency in research. I was astounded by the participants' level of confidence and preparedness. And I was 
also impressed by the information provided by the debaters and how they were able to report their opponent's argument and share their point of view in a brief amount of time. Without further ado, I would like to present the results for today's debate. For the affirmative team, organization 27 points, content 36 points, presentation 27 points, a total of 19 points. For the posting team, organization 28 points, content 36 points, presentation 28 points, a total of 92 points. And the winner is the group of opposing team. Congratulations to all of you. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I am Rodney Carlos Jr. and I will be present the evaluation summary and along with the co-evaluator. Positive and negative and general recommendations for evaluations were come up with. The supporting team noticed that the facts presented are pertinent presented in an enticing manner and persuade with the audience that the speaker's viewpoint is true. Moreover, concluding theme arguments are authoritative and emphasize the significance of their points. On the other side, it is fairly visible that some of the debaters struggles to articulate their points. We suggest offering that the reader only to the information they absolutely need to know in order to comprehend and be informed. So the speech must be executed with honor towards the opposing <coughs> team, consistent, effective articulation to draw attention to main points of the arguments. The evaluation has been fulfilled. Thank you and mabuhay. I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who contributed to the success of this program, including all debaters, judges, organizers, and most especially to our program director who dedicated herself to ensure its success. To win an argument, one must be aware of the possible ramifications of the topic in order to counter the opponent's argument. Both sides did an excellent job conveying their arguments. Each team made several effective points, but some debaters failed to demonstrate appropriate facial expression, gestures, and connection to the audiences. And there were also some constructive comments about the tone of their voice. Because in an argument, our voice has strong impact or it strongly emphasizes our ideas. But to sum it all up, everything was a success. We are about to end this program. But first, let me just take a moment to thank Mrs. Labrada for her role in facilitating this awe-inspiring debate. It's quite enjoyable to hear anyone's perspective on the limitations and liberations of technological progress. The knowledge and viewpoints the debaters presented astounded me. To formally end this program, let me call on Mr. Masaglang to make the closing remarks to be followed by the closing prayer by Ms. Empuerto. What an intense debate we had from the different sides whether there should be a limit to technological advancement or not. We, we have heard and acquired factual information about their cross and cons in human and in community and in our future. May it be a good start for us to ponder about the advancement of technology. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we want to thank you for the excellent service that we have had today. Father, we may practice what we have been taught so that we can become like Christ and bear more fruit for the kingdom. Let everything we do in the line with your word be with us as we live in this place and grant us peace in our hearts. As we come to the end of our debate, we want to thank you for giving us the opportunity to be part of the life of the students. 
we ask that you would bless us and keep us in your care. May your peace, love, and joy fill our hearts and minds. In Jesus' name, Amen. That I'm at an all time. No, 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 no,